How's it going everybody? So in this video, we're going to be redoing the flooring on my 2005 Triton 176 Sport. And instead of going back with traditional carpet, we're going to be going back with EVA foam. So I reached out to HydroTurf and they were super gracious and they sent me the materials I needed for my boat. So huge thank you to HydroTurf for sponsoring this video. I will leave a link down in the description. Make sure to check them out if you're thinking about redoing the flooring in your boat. Let me tell you, it's a really nice alternative. I'm super excited about how it turned out. Y'all can't see a lot of it right now, but make sure to stay to the end and we'll have the full reveal. But yeah, it looks really good. Thank you to HydroTurf again for sponsoring this video. All right, so I'm starting off by removing the carpet on the front deck. Whenever you're removing the carpet on the front deck, make sure to try and save it if possible because I actually used it as a template whenever I cut out my HydroTurf. Here's a little update on what I've done so far. I've got all the front deck, all the carpet removed. Um, few things to note here. My hatch hinges are actually riveted and so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave the carpet behind there if it becomes a problem later on down the road um, i'll just drill the rivets out and redo it and get that carpet out from the back but i could do that once i already put the hydro turf on so this takes a lot of scraping but you're definitely going to want to just take your time and use xylol is what i used and that seemed to work really good for me taking all that old glue off All right, y'all, so it's day two of me working on the boat. This is what I got going so far. As you can see, got the front deck pretty much cleaned up. I got all this to do back here. What I was gonna say is, I'm not sure, but I think I might leave some of the carpet. Um, I'm thinking about leaving this carpet here below this ice chest thing. I plan on leaving the carpet under the seat, and I plan on keeping the carpet under the rod locker right here. Maybe the carpet on this side here. I plan, if I don't put a hydro turf here, I may uh, just put some black paint there. So that's the plan, let's get after it. So I found that vacuuming up whenever you're working really helps keep the surface clean. That way you can see what you're doing. So definitely think about keeping a vacuum nearby. All right, so this is the end of day two. I'm done working on it for today. This is what we're working with here. So it's coming along. All right, so it's been a few days of me working on this thing, as you'll see in the time lapse. And I just wanna go ahead and show y'all what all I've got done. Um, I've got the front deck pretty much all complete. I've got the back deck complete. And a few things like this. I'm gonna sand on this a little bit more. I'm just gonna paint, I think with white paint, just paint all that white. Um, put the seat back up there. Um, down in here, I'm gonna do some more prep. I gotta get, um, the xylol and get back in there get the rest of that out in there got it all out from under the console all the hatches and stuff see all the edges cleaned up which i'll be painting around those edges and around those i plan to take some of this strip clean stripper spray it around all that and then just power wash it see if it'll come off um but the main chemical i've been using this whole time to get all this old glue off is going to be xylol this is what i've been using Xylol, xylene, whatever. Anyway, this is some pretty strong stuff. It takes it off. And then I've been using this um, this little sander down there, and then that scraper right there. That's been taking it off pretty easily. Also, I've been using 150 grit sandpaper. Um, so I'm gonna take a lighter and I'm gonna light all this up once I'm done power washing. Get all that kind of shrunk up and um, get it to where it won't string anymore. So that's the plan for that. And then we're gonna start laying some hydro turf here in a few days. So here I'm using a power washer to help knock dirt off. So coming up is a perfect example of what not to do. So I was just trying to burn off the ends of the carpet and caught the boat on fire. Make sure your chemicals dry before you take a torch to it because it will catch on fire. I found that out the hard way. So I'm using Rust-Oleum paint to paint around all the hatches. That was what worked for me. This is the white color. All 
All right, so it's finally a day. I'm gonna start laying down the hydro turf. I've got everything prepped, ready to go. It's looking really good. I'm gonna do a wipe with acetone right before I start installing the foam. Uh, but yeah, you can see a lot of effort's gone into this, getting it all cleaned up. Um, painted around the hatches, um, that way it looks good. Um, other than that, pretty much ready to go. We're gonna start with this back deck. I'm gonna wipe it. Then we're gonna start cutting this stuff. Um, gonna try and start with a square in the back. That way I don't have to um, start with that up there because I think it's gonna get a little challenging. So we're gonna start back here. So let's get after it. All right, I'm about to lay the first piece of turf. So here we go, I'm nervous. All right, so as I'm just starting to work with this material, I think the quality is really good. It's nice and thick, but it's still easy enough to cut and easy enough to bend, and it's just overall pretty easy to install. So if y'all are looking for a whole masterclass on EVA foam, I'm going to recommend Anthony Jones at Brigade Boats. He has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down in the description to his channel. Go check him out. He does really good work. He does a really good job. He definitely knows what he's doing. So I'm going to recommend him if you want a full masterclass on how to install EVA foam. If you're wondering how many sheets of the HydroTurf I used, I used five sheets and I still had a little bit left over. Definitely think about getting an extra one in case you mess up, but for my 17 foot boat five sheets was just right so here's a little bit about the comfort it is super super comfortable to stand on after I finished I took it out on the lake right away pretty much and it was just super comfortable really good experience it didn't get hot in the Sun so I think overall it's much better than carpet so I plan to do an update video later on down the road just showing how the hydro turf has held up so make sure to subscribe to the channel so whenever that video comes out you'll get updated all right, y'all, so here it is, ready to go, ready to hit the water. I'm super excited about how it turned out. I think it turned out really good. I definitely recommend doing this if you want to get away from that old carpet or if you just want to freshen up your boat a little bit. I think it makes them look really good. The installation process was not terrible. As you saw in the video, the hardest part definitely was getting the old carpet out as well as removing all the glue. So installing the HydroTurf wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. This was not terrible at all. It was a little tedious, cutting around the hashes and stuff and getting Getting everything measured getting all the lines to line up just make sure you have patience coming into this once I started ripping out the carpet I was like man this is a lot of work but I'm super happy I did it in the end I think it turned out really good I just want to send one more big thank you to HydroTurf for helping me get this project done by sending me the flooring it turned out really really good I'm super thankful for them we're ready to go let's go hit the water see y'all next time peace